Oh. For the good old days when you could simply ask the meaning. Best find this week. Go. Today's trip. For ten kills in the above. Out with it, you wretched contraption. It does nothing in this city. Ellie, we gotta talk. My second least favorite set of four words. Here we go. You gotta stop treating me with kid gloves. I'm not gonna fall to pieces if you look at me sideways, and I'm not going away. It's fine if you don't like me, but we gotta find a way to work together for the crew. Never heard you sound this forceful. It's kind of refreshing. I can take a hint. So you really want to be real, huh? Sure do. All right. From now on, you're getting raw, unfiltered, Ellie. Hope you got some rubber gloves. Changed with my pistol's trigger pull. You've been tinkering again? Maybe just a little. Is that all right with you? It's a lot smoother. Thanks. Hey, Ellie. You ever think about naming it? I always seemed a bit crude, even for me. Besides, how am I supposed to introduce dates to bold Betsy with a straight face? I name all my favorite machines. What's wrong with naming your pistol? Oh, I thought you meant... Never mind. Oh, I've thought about it. Just never came up with anything I could stick with. Let's just put this unpleasantness behind us. Oh, could you please leave quietly now?
Oh, there. That's one right there. How splendid. Another rung leech wandering through the streets of Byzantium. Why, just this morning, I thought to myself, as lovely as the gardens are, what they really need is more greasy vagrants frolicking through them. And here you are, frolicking. Hmm. Admittedly. Now, if only you could gracefully take a shower, preferably in whatever hovel you came from. Honestly, what is the board thinking letting so many of your ilk into the city proper? It's madness! I earned my place here. Just like everyone else. My grandfather was the CIO at Tile, you see. I just told you. My grandfather made millions of bits as CIO, and I earned them from him. Of course it is. Wealth is the most visible, objective measure of success. And success isn't given to you, it's earned. My grandfather taught me that. If you have wealth, you're successful, and if you're successful, you must have earned it. Honestly, it's a simple concept. Chief Idea Officer. He came up with all the best ideas for their products. You know the font they use for Stogie Slims? That was him. Well, he described the idea of it to their font development team, then picked it from a list of choices, but that's basically the same thing. It was a very long list. Let's see. He picked the colors they included in rainbow chips. No one else wanted purple, but he insisted. Everyone loves the purple ones. And you know how the Cosmic Smokes logo has an eye in the middle of a heptagon? He said that one came to him in a dream. He was a true visionary. So far ahead of his time. You're welcome. Now, do we have any further business, or are you just here for the repartee? What's wrong? It erodes the very pillars of our society. Merit, decorum, personal hygiene. This city is meant for us, the system's finest. We earned its luxuries. But now we are overrun with the unworthy and the ungrateful, and this early retirement nonsense is making it even worse. Oh, do spare me your petty judgment. It's beneath me. Millions and millions of bits beneath me. By simply winning a lottery, those early retirees get an exclusive district of Byzantium to themselves. No one else is even allowed to go there. Tell me, how is that fair? Only if I win it. It's not right. I deserve to see any district I please. Why, if it weren't guarded, I'd... Hmm. You know, you look like you've been shot at before. What say I hire you to investigate this travesty, and you get paid to do so? She's got a point. We're probably gonna get shot at anyway. Might as well make a few bits. Yes. Listen to your... Your... What is that person's job, exactly? Are they your secretary? Personal masseuse? Or do you just keep them around as a mobile armrest? Well, it doesn't matter. What's important is that you think this is a fabulous arrangement, and you'd be thrilled to lend me your services. Aren't you? Fantastic! Consider yourself employed, Vagrant. I hear the chosen retirees all enter the retirement district via the port landing pad, but it's completely locked down. You'd never get in that way. Unless, of course, you had a wealthy, beautiful benefactor of impeccable social pedigree. Which you do. How fortunate for you. These codes will get you past the lockdown. Oh, and don't worry about subtlety. I don't care how you deal with security, just correct this injustice at all costs. 
The same way anyone gets anything here, of course. I made friends with the right people. Bits might earn you a place in Byzantium, but that means everyone here has little need for more of them. For favors like this, you need to spend... Let's call it social capital. You have a rap the exotic presence. A new artificial spatial mask, perhaps? Or experimental pheromone? This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. Well, that's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Sure you are. And what is it you're delivering today? Burning the midnight oil, are we? The Halcyon Parcel Service's work is never done. Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, minister. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service team. That means you'll have to sign a release form. Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form, and then wait for a receipt for my request of a release form. Then you'd have to make an appointment. Couldn't say. We've got a backlog, and I'm planning on retiring in the next 35 years, but I could give my successor a memo on your behalf. You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box. You do that? Wow. Hey, you know, a positive review from the minister would go a long way in my semi-monthly employment audit. Here's your parcel, to be delivered to Mr. Clark, comma, Minister. Law speed.
Oh, there. That's one right there. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Chasing us off already? This feels familiar. Ma'am, please don't cause a scene. I want you to know I'm holding back for your sake. Do you have any actual business here, or...? Yeah? Let's see it. Hm. Looks like your papers are in order. All right, go on through. Wander around the minister's residence. Not so, huh? Oh, I'll keep it down. Hey, soldier. You can't just wander around the minister's residence. What do you think you're doing? Me? I'm watching for suspicious activity. Well, when you put it that way... Look, I don't have any visitors on file today, UDL-related or otherwise. I won't report this, but you need to leave. You've seemed thoughtful since Monarch. I've been wondering if we did the right thing, is all. Bringing those folks back into the board's arms? It's not easy. I gotta tell you, most of these things aren't. I just wish there was a way to please everybody. What the board did to those people, leaving them there, it wasn't right. And us showing up, trying to fix it all for them. What if we made it worse? These things work themselves out slowly, 
So look on the bright side. We won't live long enough to find out. How did you get in here? That was quick. You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh, wow! So, this is one of the guys who runs the colony, huh? Small room for a big shot. If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Drugs, of course. What else would it be? I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. He's got no idea what we're asking about. Will that be all, then? Stars, they're getting denser by the day. I shall endeavor to speak more slowly. Is this better? You, you do? Oh, this is such a relief. You've no idea how long it's been since I spoke to someone with more than a modicum of intelligence. This again? I really don't know about any chemicals. Process of elimination. The only other person with access? Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. Yeah, sure. It's always someone else who ordered the hookers and energizing ointment. Please. This is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. But there is a way to find out. And perhaps to set things right. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. We really gonna do this? Getting involved is a messy business, and it rarely pays. This is about more than bits. This is about the survival of the colony. If you don't help, who will? Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. 
There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? A man has too much money and too little sense. The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more, all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. But they wouldn't get here for... I don't even know. Shouldn't we do something our own selves? It's worth a try, but the Earth Directorate still needs that message. We must hope for their intervention. Perhaps there is hope after all. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis District. Nice and easy. <laughs> 